permits the undeniable mass of passable films that Hollywood has been throwing at us in the past couple of decades, I usually find myself appreciating films simply for being different. Whether these happen to be artistically demanding pieces of work, downright obscure cinema, guilty pleasure bad films or something that fits all of these criteria. Growing up in 70s Uganda, Isaac Godfrey Joffrey Nabwana was fascinated by shows like Hawaii Five-0 and Logan's Run, as well as martial arts films and Hollywood action films. In 2005, after briefly learning a bit of video editing, Nabwana IGG founded Ramon Film Productions, better known as Wakaliwood, named after his grandmothers, Rachel and Monica. He has since been making ultra-low budget films in Wakaliga, a slum in Uganda's capital Kampala, that started gaining recognition on the internet. One of the people to stumble upon the legendary trailer to Who Killed Captain Alex was Alan Hoffmanis, a New York-based festival director who flew to Uganda to produce a documentary about the studio and has since moved there, starring in some more Hollywood films and helping with international promotion. The work put into the films by Nabwana and his crew is insane. Everything is DIY and self-built, from the sets to the guns. He has a guy who literally forges them from scrap. Sharpened wood sticks are sometimes used as bullet props. Watching the films Nabwana IGG has made in the past decade is the most fun I've had in a long time while watching a film. The insane commitment that everyone involved brings to the film is very clearly visible and raises the question how someone can make films like these that never cost more than $200 while Hollywood is sometimes struggling to produce a film that is interesting or memorable in any way with a budget of several million dollars. Well, what's happening here, it's, it's in a lot of ways it's like the birth of cinema, if that makes any sense. There's no direct models, there's no one teaching them how to do anything. You have to invent everything as you go and see what works or not. It feels like Hollywood has become a mere caricature of itself, losing every bit of passion as the money involved keeps growing. At the same time, some people with a crazy passion for action films seem to be reinventing the genre with everything they have at their disposition. The commitment may be last seen in the early days of Hollywood. There too, film was a field of experimentation, trial and error. What could be done was a question yet to be answered. And it was beautiful. Watching documentaries on his work, one might realize a certain energy in Nabwana IGG that he projects on the people around him. People will do everything to make a scene work, unafraid of getting hurt for real. There's this one guy, for example, which they call Bruce Yu, who taught himself Kung Fu, as he saw it in martial arts films, who teaches the kids in the village Kung Fu to prepare them for their future work in action films. This just goes to show that Nabwana has a plan for the future. I don't think that I'll always be here as the only director. I don't think that I'll always be here as the only editor. I want others to come in with their you know, talents and then we see that we promote it. I am sure that there are some young children there who can even do it better than me. And I feel like I want to work with them to see that I do really promote this uh, work Hollywood to, to be the best studio, action studio in the whole world. Nabwana IGG is a man with a vision. And he's in a lucky situation where he isn't alone with that vision, like many visionary filmmakers around the world who never get the studio support they need. He has convinced others of his vision and now has not only an entire village behind him that shares it, but international fans that love his work. Watching these visions materialized is exciting. The films he makes are simply fun to watch in so many different ways where no mediocre Hollywood film with 10,000 times the budget can compete. Maybe this might inspire other filmmakers, as Nabwana has proven that you don't need a lot of money, famous actors, big studios or even anything at all to make a film. If Nabwana IGG can inspire just a handful of visionary filmmakers around the world to just go out there and start making their film from scrap, this might be huge for the cinema of the future. Maybe what we are witnessing right there in the middle of Uganda might literally be the birth of cinema. Music